Through the lens of aviation, Joshua applies science, technology, engineering, and mathematics towards his passion, aviation. Did you know that over 60 million people are afraid of flying in airplanes? Well, my name is Joshua Glotman. I'm 12 years old. I've been interested in aviation for five years, and I fly airplanes. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I fly airplanes. Now, welcome to my world of aviation. I became interested in aviation when I was trying to imagine myself flying on Google Earth. It was pretty unrealistic considering that, oh, I was about 20 miles higher than a normal plane would fly and going 10 times as fast. So I got a flight simulator. This taught me the basics of aviation. The control tower, airport, airlines, airplanes, and a few instruments too. Then I got an even more advanced simulator that taught me how to use some of the features like the GPS, autopilot, and how to communicate with the control tower. For my 11th birthday, I had the privilege of going on a real 747 flight simulator that pilots use for training. I flew, I flew all around New York City, even saw the Empire State Building, and then I landed the plane at night. Recently, I had the privilege of meeting Captain Barrington Irving, the youngest person to fly around the world solo, a Guinness Book of Worlds record holder, and a TEDx presenter. After speaking with him about my passion for math, science, and aviation, he asked if he could be my mentor. I said yes. <laughs> now I am proud to introduce my mentor, Captain Barrington Irving. Barrington, will you please stand? Thank you, Barrington. Barrington then asked me if I wanted to fly with him to Orlando. Again, I said yes. <laughs> My mom was a little scared. I don't know why she wouldn't want to go with a 12-year-old <laughs> on their first flight. After Barrington took off, he handed me the controls, and I flew the plane for about an hour. Then I became nervous when he told me I was going to land the plane. <laughs> Me, a 12-year-old, with my dad in the back seat, white as a ghost, going at over 100 miles per hour in an airplane, in turbulence, landing an, landing an aircraft. In the end, I landed it safely. Thank you. I've realized that math and science play a major role in aviation, because without it, a plane could not even get be built. For example, if a mechanic tightens or loosens a bolt too much, the plane may not function properly. Math affects aviation because it helps pilots calculate the distance and time it takes to get from one airport to another. It, helps, it also helps them read the radar screen and avoid crashes with other aircraft. Science affects aviation because without it, a plane could not even get off the ground. How many of you in here felt your ears pop when you were in an airplane? Well, that's a result of pressure changes in the cabin. Barometric pressure, rain, wind, cloud coverage, and temperature all affect the outcome of a flight. The principles and the understandings of science help a pilot fly safely. Because of aviation, I've become better at focusing, multitasking, knowing what's going on around me, and problem solving. I can also visualize a math problem better when thinking about a calculation used in the cockpit. Over the summer, I helped design a curriculum to teach kids about aviation using math and science and math and science using aviation. I will always use math and science in my future plans and as the most important result of my passion. So whatever you do, do it, love it and use it in ways that can help you and others. Learn how to take lots of information and put it together to solve everyday problems. 
I hope my story will help motivate and inspire other kids to use their math and science skills to make our world a better place. Thank you. The Power of Mentoring Travis was influenced by a mentor and now he wants to mentor others. Good evening, my name is Travis Peterkin and I am a student at Miami Edison Senior High School. Picture a young man whose life has gone astray. I could have been that young man, except I had a chance to meet someone special, my mentor from Big Brothers Big Sisters. He has encouraged me to be a police officer, my dream. He has also introduced me to people who can help. A mentor is a person that is a wise, trusted counselor, teacher, or other adult that helps guide you to make positive and productive choices. In